Marcus here from 4Pods. Um, over the years we've been battling with 4Pods in terms of label printing specifically to other types of printers uh, whether that's Zebras or Bixelins or Argox or all sorts of barcode printers that's available uh, in South Africa and Africa for that matter. Um, so we've developed a software program as you can see on the screen that will allow you to design your own labels any which way you want to as well as then um, able to print it through the Windows driver of the printer um, for whatever type of label you want. All right. So let's have a quick look. I've, I've already designed a label. Uh, at the top you can see the name of the file that you're working with. So at the moment I've called my file 4 parts 40 by 29 which is a 40 millimeter by 29 millimeter label which is sort of like the standard that uh, our customers use. Uh, a smart label uh, and then WCN with company name in other words I put the company name in here so let's start at the beginning and say okay fine if we just if the label is not highlighted in other words you haven't selected a specific uh, item on there you'll see that the, the size of the label can be designed over at the top right hand side the width the height of the label uh, what effect you want etc etc and then you can specify where does the information that you want on the label to appear come from in other words it must come from the four parts database argument sake the product database or the debtors the debtors or then our new loyalty system which I'll make a video of in the next while or even a temp uh, file and a temp file would be an excel spreadsheet um, in the download you'll see this uh, file formats or file layouts or temporary files that you can start using and you can actually literally go and create a label uh, and print it on a four pass printer or any other printer for that matter uh, even from an excel spreadsheet and you can maintain the excel spreadsheet and then just print from there so for now just simply um, we've got uh, this item here so what we want on our top of our label is a company name and as you can see on the right hand side it comes from the data table meaning it comes from the database um, what we want is the company name from there and the text of it will be the company name center okay so let's delete that and start over theoretically let's say you have another label and you don't necessarily want your company name on there but now again you decide you want to so what I'll do then is I'll literally just go and click on uh, something and say all right fine from the company sorry from the product database I want the company name in there and then you'll see it will place it automatically on your label now of course you can go and move this thing around and you can play with it you can say it must stretch it out or not stretch it out or something like that and say it was must sit, be sitting over there and I want uh, the full part uh, full description in there and so forth if you say stretch out you'll see that it will fit to that size okay so again something that you'll literally just play around with and see if that works for you or doesn't work for you you can then also go and change obviously the font of it and you've got a anything that's available on your computer you can go and select in other words I can go and say I want a 12 and I want a regular okay and that will appear over there where you want your data uh, sorry your telephone number of the company again that comes from the database and then the name one center is the product name of the item and the barcode now the barcode itself um, again you can go and decide what type of barcode type you want you can go and say it's code 128 auto or EAN 13 or whatever size it is please if you get stuck on it just stick to the basics the basics work um, if you're going to send us messages or emails or whatever else and say well I've made it MSI Plessy and now it doesn't work uh, it doesn't scan whatever else uh, not something we can uh, assist with uh, if you play around so again th this is a free program you're not paying anybody for it we don't charge for it it's available you can um, use it uh, like it hopefully and say big advantage or, or not okay all right and then the price as well again from the database price whatever so let's jump now so we've made it two separate programs this is the designer 
and obviously you will save this file um, at any stage if I decide I want to go and open up something else that says you didn't save this file do you want to save the changes yes or no and in this case I don't want to save it um, I just want to go and open up the, uh, the, the original one okay so that's my original I'm quite happy with that one and we've made it two separate programs there so this is the label designer once you've created it. oh sorry last thing on this when you do this design also specify the printer where you'll be printing to in other words are you printing to the PDF file uh, a PDF file that you want to create you're printing to an A4 whatever however you do it I'll explain the A4 layout for you now and I'll show you examples that's quite exciting um, but you know which printer you're going to be printing to so in my case now I'm going to print to uh, the four pass printer the SPRT printer okay and specify the sizes and everything else on there so when you then get to the next part of it uh, the printing part of it everything is already done for you okay there's no design work that you can do here you can't go and change things anything here all that are, this changing the designing happens in the label designer not in the label prints okay so in here theoretically all you want to be able to do is you can see here that we want to print uh, from the database there's my database on the right hand side and I can go and specify and say fine there's my database alphabetical you might say that okay no I don't want this one I'm going to reset the quantities in other words one want to make everything zero again and then maybe I want to supply or, or just go and select um, something that's uh, all my chicken products okay and in my chicken products I want to go and print uh, you just double click on the quantity one of each of those labels or five or ten or whatever you want to do and then simply click on print okay and when you then print it will pick up the selection of the printer and you'll be able to go and print directly to that okay that's as really as simple as it is so let's jump quickly to the A4 because a lot of customers say well I don't have an A4 printer oh, sorry I don't have a barcode printer but I would still like the facility or ability to be able to print labels print it out on a page and then scan from it okay so let's go and have a look oh by the way all the sample uh, designs will also be uh, on the download form all right so <clears throat> let me just have a look quickly all right, so my file that I've created here for the A4 page, as you can see over there, um, is called 4 pos uh, 40 by 29 smart with company name A4. Okay, and again, uh, that's the design. Maybe you decide you want to move things a little bit down, or whatever the case would be, your barcode label you want a little bit down, the name a little bit down, and the company name. Uh, sorry and telephone number a little bit down just so that it sits more in line with what you want okay and of course my price is not really where it's supposed to be let's just move that a little bit better in line again if the design is a little bit difficult make it bigger so that you can you know get a better feel of where the things are going to be stored and displayed and so forth and again you can preview it as well um, so I can just go and say show me a preview on the A4 uh, sorry I'm just going to find my PDF printer da, 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 that one over there and that's what my preview that's what my label will look like okay so not the old printing from four pass side that prints little square brackets and you can't design it properly so obviously you can now go to a company like macro and you can go and buy your a4 label pages which you can insert into your uh, uh, jet or inkjet printer or laser jet printer um, and then you can print your own labels and take it off and stick it on your products as well you don't have to buy a barcode printer anymore barcode printers are still got a, a place uh, simply because that will be for high volume you don't want to start printing thousands and thousands of labels uh, onto an A4 printer okay it will eventually cost you a lot of money so work it out in any case all right so let's jump uh, quickly to my uh, four, A4 page that I've already done let me just see if I can get this a little bit bigger for you um, all right so typically this is what the A4 page will be and again you will design it any which way you want to in my example here I've got uh, five labels across and I've specified that in this one argument sake there's 20 rows of of labels per page let's just jump back to this 
and let's just go and have a look and see how all this was designed uh, let me just go and check my pages there no it's not the XPS argument sake I want to print it to a PDF and my PDF is over there <clears throat> and then in terms of the layout itself you can see there there's five rows okay and four columns okay or you can say so I know I want five columns and I want to increase my rows so it's a full page something like that okay and that works out quite nice okay and then again save it so that when you get to the print side of it it works fine for you all right so for now it's the right name everything all I'm going to do is click on save uh, go to my print program and I'm going to re on your print designer you can reopen it uh, or open it then and then a good idea for you to keep good idea to keep your files in a specific three folder that you would also always use and I've sorted a date sequence now so you can see then clearly that my 40 by 29 label uh, is last modified it's uh, modified today all right I can pick that up and if I now go and just reset my quantities again here all right and I've got my whole database there and now I say I want to print arguments like just one of each okay and as you see if you type in the quantity it will show you what the label would look like on the right hand side so I'm just specifying quite a lot of them all right and then I can say print and now because I've saved it the right one it remembers the printer name and the number of rows and everything else and I can just say okay and it will create my my label for me okay so let's just have a look at that folder there I'll save it as a new name and replace it okay again now I'm gonna go to that folder be an idea for you you know while you're playing around print the PDF before you start wasting pages on your uh, of your very smart new labels and then you can just superimpose them on top of each other and make sure that the spacing make sure the spacing and everything else is correct and works for what you want it to be um, I hope you're excited as about the labels as I am I hope it works for you and I hope you're happy with the, the results enjoy mm -hmm.